Jacob Bravo set to kick away. St. Bonaventure in white. Knocks it to Gil Scott Jackson. He will have a return. Swiveling his way up beyond the 10-yard line. He's taken down. Um, I think we want to credit Oregon for that, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. And now here's Corral trying to run in like Marcus Mariota. And he stretches wide to the left. Takes it in for six from six yards out. And Oaks Christian... Less than two minutes in, lead six to nothing. They drive right down the field. And, and, and struggling the last offensive outing. Um, Fumbled by Vines. And it Oaks looked Christian. like he had fallen Oaks on Christian it, but I think Oaks Christian came up with it. St. Bonaventure oh. brings a blitz from the middle. The snap is over the top of Corral. Corral now throws downfield oh, to a wide open receiver. <laughs> Caught by Michael Pittman. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Oaks Christian. What a presence of mind for that ball. Not only did Corral go all the way back inside his five-yard line, scoop it up, and then deliver a strike to Pittman. Man, I tell you what, he really bailed out his center right there, didn't he? <laughs> Reminds me of the uh, the championship game I played in against Nordoff my sophomore year that ended up winning us the game. But St. Bonaventure hasn't had much trouble moving the ball when they're not turning it over, and Oaks certainly hasn't had trouble moving the ball. But it's been mistakes by the offense that has that has been their Achilles heel. Tons of room for Santoyo. He gets to midfield, barrels through a tackler, and is down to the 43-yard line. <laughs> Absolutely. Mean, hey, if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You don't stop something until they make you do it. When does a running back hit that limit? I mean, you have to feel it at some point. I know you never want to come out of the game. And this time, it's a reverse, a throwback to Vines. That's complete inside the 25 and there will be a late penalty flag against oaks christian for roughing the passer it's fourth and short for san francisco trailing 17 to nothing they wanted to take the points bravo on to get the seraphs on the board and that kick is up and through and the seraphs are on the board it is 17 to 3 and now they will kick away it's just another short kick, though. Oh. This one oh. takes a serif oh. bounce and goes out of bounds, but there's a penalty that flag. That wasn't a serif bounce. That, <laughs> it was a serif bounce that would bounce straight right, up, and the true. same bunch of guy would have uh, grabbed it. That That's true. I, it looked like it was going to work its way back to the St. Bonaventure player, but it did not. It went out of bounds. It, but you, you get a sense on this drive. He's like, listen, I'm not going <laughs> to give these guys a chance to, to make a mistake or throw a pick. I'm just going to run the ball. You know, they've been able to do it. Uh, you know, but they've gotten away from it and wanted to pass the ball. And I understand when you got a guy like Pittman out wide, but you get the sense he wanted to be a little vanilla on this one. Yeah, a couple passes completed, and then three runs from Gil Scott Jackson, an easy drive for Oaks Christian, and they're up by three touchdowns. It's a little bit surprising. Fourth down and ten inside the 15-yard line. Well, it's essentially fourth and goal. It really is. 14.6 seconds left. Vines five, drops, five, four, has an open man, and it nope, looks like he'll be stopped a yard short. Fine play from Oaks Christian defensively, as Wick just cannot pick up the first down. A little bit off of Pittman, <laughs> giving him a little cushion, and here's Jackson to run again. Jackson gets it around the corner. Jackson up towards midfield. Gil Scott Jackson, 30, 20. 15-10, and he's hauled down just inside the 10-yard line. What a hustle play from Jack Cameron, but a huge run from Jackson. You knew this was going to happen. There's, I mean, there's just no way that you can continue to ask the defense to bail you out over and over and over again. I, I got to say, I, I'm, the defense has pretty much done what you expected them to do, is to continue to give the offense for St. Bonaventure chances to get back in the game over and over again, even with short fields. This was bound to happen. They break off a big run. St. Bonaventure will not recover from this. Well, that Jackson's a special player. He's really come on the last uh, five or six games. Uh, there he goes into the end zone. He's, he's, he's outstanding. Walks into the end zone. That run, by the way, that long run put him over 1,000 yards on the season for the first time. Winning and success recruits itself. And, and again, you, you've done a tremendous job. Jim Binker's done a tremendous job of being successful, and, 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 it, and it takes away from all of the work that you've put in to, to do that. Well, you know what, uh, St. Bonnie, John Mack did a fabulous job at St. Bonaventure. Wide open is Bravo who makes the catch. 15-10-5, touchdown, Seraphs. They're on the board with six for the first time tonight. It's 31-9. to 
Well, they, there you go. You got some separation there from the receivers, and really they got separation on the last drive. You know, again, Oaks has been in man coverage for much of the game, and they're basically begging you to do something like that, to take shots. Hand, way out of hand. You and think they, it's out of hand in out terms of hand of... nationwide on this recruiting. High school kids are recruited to other high schools. They're recruited out of one high school to another high school. And it's going on all over the place. Oftentimes, it's uh, you know, it's parents you know shopping their kid around. Sure, and that, it's, that, it's that just not football. It, it's all sports. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. The Seraphs have pulled within 13, and this is getting a little interesting, isn't it? Excuse me, pulled within 15. It's 31 to 16 as the pass is completed to Moy Pedroza for Pedro- Pedroza. It's his third touchdown of the season. First down and 10 for Vines. And that's Uh, intercepted, picked off, and diving into the end zone to confirm this victory for Oaks Christian. Colby Parkinson, he had a couple important catches on the offensive end. He just rises up, hauls that one in, takes it in for six, and it's 40-16 to Oaks Christian. It's a great play by that guy. Colby's a junior, and he's, uh, he's been offered by USC. I mean, he literally ran him down. And, again, he's one of their better players, and he's playing on one side of the ball. Corral again loses the snap and again turns it into a touchdown for the second time tonight, 47-16. He's going to be scary to watch when he's a senior. I'll tell you, yeah, I'll tell you he's, he's special. Be scary to watch. He's a good kid, too. He's a good kid, modest kid. Yeah, I'm very impressed with him. Most teams you play against, you're going to be outmanned, especially when you start to play against Oaks, Westlake, and then in the postseason. You know, they, they, you know, it's just they're not ready for and that. And issue. the receivers are dropping. You saw a bunch of drop balls, key yeah, no, drop balls that could have the given them a chance. One in the end zone. As Wick goes in for a touchdown for St. Bonaventure, it's 48 to 22. But this one is done. The Oaks Christian Lions, the top-ranked team in Ventura County, at least by our <laughs> estimation. <laughs> As they beat the St. Bonaventure Seraphs 48-23. Derry Eads, Lorenzo Booker, your final thoughts on tonight's game.